Mm -hmm. This is certainly a time to really solidify those points with just a few more gold events ahead of us here. Let's see how it yeah, plays he's been out. Also an absolute hot streak, right? ECT, WASD, now looking to try and take Astro finish, but got to take it one game at a time. Game number one in our winner's side, top eight. Zane immediately BC'd out by Shuabu. Woo! Yeah, we got our throw for the corner here. Cap up to set up, try to bait out the BC from Zane here. Not going to happen. All right, nice. Actually, the homie's saving you on the air dash there from Zane. There we go, but Air Dash over to the other side. Far H starter, now we set the seals. Scary, we got the jump over on the Tornado, but the Air Dash on the way back. We find the behind the back hit here for Zane. Nice, blasting with Tornado here. Full screen set up. Wow, very rare Yggdrasil call here, but at an excellent spot. There's a lot of work to be done here in Zane. Locked in, take just a full screen distance to avoid as much as we can. Wind makes the connection. And enough space here to not get a full punish. Oh, but tried. Yeah, it's tricky on both of those supers, right? Because, of course, Grimnir has a lot of ways to air stall, try and make their way around some of those mechanics. Still able to take away one of the BP from Zane, but either way. Ultimate Tornado makes your way. Now we're in throw range as well. Ooh. And the back run actually ends up making it hit same side, yeah. yeah. That is very unfortunate here. Zane is going to catch that first round. And Shubu tries, you might, with that Yggdrasil. Yeah, I've seen that downtown body splash from Shubu before. Uh, earlier in bracket, we've seen some folks get called out by it here, but Zane ready to stand block on this one. There we go. We send the bros and we send out the brave counter as well. Says, I'm not trying to hold any of this <laughs> shenanigans. And we find the counter hit air dash as well. Clean pick up for Zane to get the side spot. Ooh. Yeah, nice call out on the parry right there too. Going for the HPA very early on. Which is fine, insane. So patient here, trying to call out the spot dodges. No lows for you. Yep, barely any chip damage taken off of it as well. Trying to go for these delays to, you know, keep Zane on his toes, but not much found off the 100 meter. Now it's such a big meter deficit. And once again, we find another counter hit air dash on Shuubu trying to keep up the zoning. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that tornado set up here to keep you locked in corner position as Zane goes for a full combo finish here. First game. Already setting the pace here in this top eight. There we go. Taking a second at the rematch screen, trying to think, okay, what happened? Where was I getting hit? So many of these air dashes going over the zoning patterns from Shubu. So now I wonder, are we going to try and, you know, dial it back a little bit? Are we going to try and meet them air to air? No, instead, we're going to run up with a 6XM and check you with the side swap. Oh, again, another side swap here, Zane already. 50% life lead off the wall for a full extension. Good luck guessing here. No tornado setup. Tries to bait out the parry, but still the alt parry comes through the downs or forward special, excuse me, from Shubu. Mm -hmm. All right, we set the seals. No, no baits with these air dash shenanigans. Instead, we're dashing all the way across the screen, straight through the ground, 100 meter for Zane. It should be a quick kill. Yes, indeed. Uh, again, just owning that corner position here, and Shubu looking a little, a little lost in some of the sauce. Right. See. Send it out with the EX Tornado. Immediate clear on the cap bot as well. And still got three seals to your name. The jump back immediate dive. Nice corner. And yeah, we've seen that set up before with that tornado position here from Zane. And again, it is just you have to try to interact with that. If you're wrong, Zane just sits right inside of it here as that additional coverage so that the opponent will get called out here. If they try to jump, see if you try to roll. It's too little, too late. It allows Zane to put a button right on top of it, especially a Grimnir Heavy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, tried to double down with the 6-6-M parry, but nothing found on the other side. Eventually, we just go for the delay DP to put ourselves 2-0 right now, but Mark World Tour rules, right? This full top eight, we got a first to three, so at least one more game here, but it is so difficult to stop Zane's momentum right now. Watch your back. Yep, you try to snipe out some of the air dashing here. No cap bot, not gonna work out here. I can't believe the Gale Dash actually avoided the cap bot laser. That is very yeah, right? interesting. Yeah, oh, it's wow. so tricky because we've been swapping up how we're going about these approaches with the Gale Dashes, whether it's looking for the air stalls to bait on anti air or just going straight through the ground looking for that immediate check. But either way, Zane has been weaving and bobbing his way on through every single time. Dude, it's so difficult to keep up with. Oh, oh, oh nice little spot dodge right there, opens things up. Forces Shubu to spend the super save with the substantial life lead again. I don't think there's anything stopping Zane in this top eight run right now. The complete control that we see, unless the Shubu pulls all the stops right now, it's looking like a Zane top eight so far.
Yeah, so hard to stop. Even off of the HPA, right? We're trying to see mm -hmm. some spot dodges to bait out a reaction to the uh, animation and then yes. bait the, uh, you know, higher low afterwards. But still, Zane so solid on the defense. One more round away from winner's finals, but Jubu finds the hit. Oh, wow, the heavy connecting, but a little bit too far. Maybe don't follow. Was it ready to confirm it? All right, here we go. Jail dash again here, just to keep the offense going. Yeah, all this because you wanted the item throw, right? But yeah. you got the Elote, a little bit of health back, but so much more lost. Now you're in the corner. 50% at this next hit. Uh -huh. Oh, if we had a full confirm, would have been enough, but we run up for the throw bait one more time, and it's 100 meter down the drain to send Shubu down into the loser's side. 3 0 for Zane. It can't be all that bad because you can go right back there, get yourself an ice cream sandwich after the loss. You know, try to exactly. recoup your your losses here, and you still have that losers run here for Shuabu. But see, this is the style that you can kind of expect from the Mexico region type of fighting game player. We've had this conversation around the rushdown style of Mexico that they are very much prone to be bully style players, and Grimnir is very capable of doing that, especially with these corner setups off of seals, and going for air dashes. But if you look at this top eight, and you look at the run that a lot of the AF crew has done, which by the way, Apparently, yeah. Astral Finish has a pretty good pedigree of Grand Blue players and an interesting crossover with Smash players. There's a lot of the Mexico scene that is really crossed over between Smash and Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, which is great to see. Yeah, there was even an AF team kill in the loser side, top mm -hmm. 16 qualifiers, but you know, only one can make it out. But trying to make it out of this corner, yeah, spaced out of the EX Fireball, now it's EX Launch all the way across the screen. Perfect spacing, and we're just spending all the BP to try and escape. We are here. Nice spin. Yeah, I haven't seen the current Catalina. There's very few of them, despite all the positive changes for the character. Like, she is much more potent in this iteration of the game. Her corner carry is phenomenal. Yo, we got the triple crumple. Yeah, you can finish the job, actually. Nice. Dude, that is a fan fiction combo. I have actually never seen the uh, the triple EX fireball. That goes so hard. Or the ultimate fireball, rather. Yeah, yeah. All the way across the screen. You have the meter for it. You have the refund. You're like, okay. Let me go for the simple swaggy route and secure that first round. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice back dash here after the light wall. Nice 2A. Very brave here from Elsa on that one. Oops. There we go. Up against the wall, but we dropped the close out confirm. Okay. So your turn, though, but tries to interrupt light wall approach here with a quick counter heavy from Locky sets up with seals. I like this, but you stop too short. You got to commit because that was supposed to be a guard cancel from Elsa. But because you landed here, you got the Raging Strike, which stripped away your final break point. Triple seals. Oh, nice. Extra damage doesn't really matter because you're so low either way, but Locky able to tie up the rounds here just a little bit earlier on the scramble. Yeah, very impressive here that we were able to close it out with that one. It, it got really scary. Like, that was prime game-winning position for Locky once we had the seal set up. But once we pumped the brakes on our offense, I'm not yep. sure what we were looking for. If maybe we were trying to fish for a DP and just block that out. Yeah, I think just a little bit late. Looking for the delay. Close age. Ends up getting back thrown for your troubles. And now Elsa with not only a healthy but such good positioning in the corner. Next hit builds up a super for lethal. Oh no! See, you have to jump. We saw the opponent in the air. It was supposed to be that guard cancel here. Gonna get opened up and a massive route for the round. Should be the game and it certainly will be. First game for Elsa here. Here we go. A clean kill with the SBA. One on the board. Let's see. Locky able to put one round on the board there, right? But even that single round was such a scramble towards the end. It seems like Elsa is so comfortable with exactly where she wants to stand on the screen, right? Round start lunge to, you know, just be chilling out at the perfect spacing. Oh, is it plus? Is it even? You know, am I clear to challenge? There we go. Whiff on the EX thrust. No challenge. Jeez. Oh, wow. What a two-head there from Locky. Able to get that quick call out. Okay. Set the seals, bait out the air dash anti air with the JU, but no, we're chilling. Finally, good to see that light while we were talking about it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be seeing a lot of 5U and go, just to go right through that brave counter. That's two BP down in just a flash. All right. One final touch. Oh, try to get a little shimmy right there, but the 5H comes through. Nice blast of the light ball. Okay, very fortunate that button connects here for Locky, especially after that air dash. Oh, okay. Within the two age, maybe looking pretty preemptive there for a jump in from Elsa, but instead sticking their ground. Another round of the board. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, jeez, I forgot they changed the, the voice of the, the round announcer on this one. This was, was fun to watch say, right? last night. <laughs> That's so sick. I was like, I, that announcer seems a little bit different, but I don't know, the situation seeming so similar to the past game, so consistent about getting this immediate corner carry situation off the round start. Right, Frost immediately right next to the corner, and it's such a threat for Catalina to be here. Nice yep. reversal from Loki to at least try to get out 2L start. And you still have your seals. Brilliant play. Actually, this is so smart for Loki to extend for a corner position, keeping well aware that we have seals in the corner to continue our offense. There we go. Almost had the off screen 50 50, but blocks on the JL. Not going to block on the scramble afterwards, though. Up against the wall, we spend the 100 for the kill. And now we're tied up once again on the rounds. Okay, we'll see if we can stem the bleeding here. Locky with the strong answer back. The things almost looked very south because Elsa has been such doing such a good job of commanding these corner positions as Catalina should. All right, nice light wall conversion. Zando with the raid. Thank you so very much. How you doing? Thank you. A solid 100 stopping on by for some grand blue action. Thank you. you. Made it just in time for the other side of our winner's top eight. You made it just in time for the counter hit far H. Trying to swing back out, but instead Locky just doing such a good job locking down this corner. Again, another overhead blocked by Elsa. Ooh, nice counter hit. Got the crumple off the fireball here. Another alt fireball. Coast to coast we go. The meter, that's okay. We'll get it back and look. Very stripped to break points. You're trying to build another one. You can't spot dodge that one. Oh, oh no, but even off of the spot dodge, ended up eating the super, lived with a sliver, and able to bring that rounded game back. Look at Locky. He's like, ah, oh, man, I really thought. But MT 2 0 up for Elsa. Now we just need one more to secure that spot in the winner's finals. Yeah, I mean, look at the consistency of like. <laughs> First and foremost, Elsa is already well-versed in trying to lock opponents down in the corner, thanks to the play styles of Nier, right? Catalina is certainly going to be one of those characters who play outside the range, right, of where the opponent can feel comfortable. Grimnir has a great button and far heavy, but Cat it just has that quick burst closure with the thrust here. Nice jump, though, from Locky to avoid that EX thrust. Yeah, I like the TK dashes that we're seeing right above the ground, like you mentioned, right? Trying to, you know, go over the fireballs, go over thrusts, find the counter hit, but... No, we counted off of the screen positioning. We swapped the sides. Now we're bringing you over to this other coast, EX Fireball. We run up for a clean confirm on Elsa's side. We'll find them here to start things off. And now we are already doing a substantial amount of damage. Combo limit achieved. And you see that max range again. We're trying to counter poke with the 2M. Far M will work out. Close enough for the wall after EX Thrust. We stabilize it with the Raging Strike. And we're on match point because of it. Mm-hmm. All right, Sword in the Stone, one more round to go. How can we hold on, Lucky? I like what we're seeing as far as, you know, swapping up our air dash timings, but still, Elsa time after time, able to stabilize the round, caught on the other side with the air dash. Yeah, you're gonna need more than Merlin and try to help you out with this sword here. The 2U, yeah. not gonna work out. Wait a minute, not quite gonna get the OD, or excuse me, the EX off the wall bounce here, but we'll get the light wall to lift things off. Not enough to kill, but this is your final interaction, Loki. What do you got? Oh, no. The damage off of the OD. The damage is OD off the EX Fireball, plus frames off the 6-6-L. And that's all we need to seal out the spot in Winner's Finals. 3-0 for Elsa. Hot off of the Catalina run. Yes, indeed. Still, and this is going to be very interesting because you're going to get that first-hand look at the uh, regional play style here. There are so many killers in the Mexico region, in Central America in general, just that we don't get to see too often. Like, we named a few, right? Like, outside mm -hmm. of uh, Tiempo Gris, who got knocked out a little bit earlier, uh, yeah. and uh, ISMX, who we've seen on TNS as well. Like, there are so many other players that don't get the opportunity to play on TNS as often as we'd like, or we really get the time to see them, or, you know, varying time zones or events going on overlapping. There's still mm -hmm. many killers out here, and honestly, these two are certainly a couple of them. Uh, honestly, Eddie Franco is going to be one to watch out as well throughout this bracket. Exactly. So many strong players here, but yeah, lots of strong options off of the triple spear, but trying to stay at that safe spacing, but the challenge comes out from Eddie, trying to fight to, you know, bring you over to this corner, but scared of all the follow-ups coming out from Archangel. Right, stagger pressure here off the dash L's. Nice sneaks yep. in the throw after the special. 
Yep, safe jump after the throw. Empty low post JU, but Ooh. not gonna bite. Yeah, it's scary when you're trying to do parry to bait out the Brave counter, because especially these DPs that take so high into the sky, you know, depending on the timing, especially if they delay it as well, you know, you might not actually get a combo, and you might put yourself into the corner, but either way, we spend the U skill and end up getting sniped by the 6XL from Archangel. Oh, what a back dash! Calls out the whiff throw opportunity. Archangel has tons of resources. You should be able to kill off of this. Let's go. Yep. Here we go. Raging Strike. Send it into the super. SBA for round number one. Right. Well, wow. that's a strong round start here for Archangel to find that spacing away from Catalina to make things a little bit uncomfortable. That counter poke though from Eddie. I want to see a bit more of that, but I think it's the aggression from... Golly, from Zeta. That's going to make this very tricky. Go. EX Beam, 2 2 U. Oh, and he went for the empty low as well. They're so scared of the safe jump, the 2 L. Gotta keep it on the brain, but not quite able to kill just yet. 50 meter off this next interaction, but the safe jab is gonna get caught up by that UDP. Nice throw. Strong lead, nice parry, but look at the ult call out here right into light wall to absorb. Actually, a follow up would have came through from there. We got that done. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's so tempting to send out U-Beam when you're up against the corner. You're like, okay, I just want a full screen horizontal hitbox and some plus frames to try and escape. But speaking of plus frames, 6-6-L six, six, for the counter hit. Archangel takes game number one. Yeah, this is, again, it, it's so tricky to keep Zeta out on the side of Catalina here because Zeta has so many tools to close the gap. And very quickly, like even with Beam to challenge the grounds here. Mm -hmm. Let's just jump the patience and Dash L is already in. I like the spacing on the fireballs as well. Not quite in, okay, jump in is going to counter hit you range, but we are in range with a 2M to get so much corner carry off our best. Oh, wow, steals back the turn with the DP right there. Very brave call out for Betty. But now it applies the layer of threat to Archangel. We do get our crumple state. So if Archangel thinks about trying to mash between buttons here, then you have to think about that lingering threat of DP. Let's see if Eddie remains consistent with that challenge, though. What a throw. Oh, there we go. The double run-up throw. This time it baits out the parry. So unless you want to bet it all onto you into the SSBA, the classic Callisto coming out from Archangel. Yeah, well played. And you saw Eddie being very patient in that corner, knowing that there are plenty of ways that Archangel could turn this around. They're certainly starting to. Guard cancels out. You may as well at that final break point. Oh my god, that's such a scary thrust. Oops. But even scarier. Go. UDP TV. puts a round yeah. on the board here for Eddie Franco. Very brave. You could have died for that one there. But again, it's about establishing the fact that we're willing to put out those DPs here that Archangel's not quite respecting here. Okay, whip from the far L. Perfect spacing. RBS off the parry, but no, instead wanted a U skill, but maybe didn't have enough meter at the time. Hard to say. Either way, that 5U is not what you're looking for. Looks for the throw bait, but we're out of here. Back over to this Grand Blue Zone. Oh. Yep, not able to get the challenge here, but what a 2M right there from Archangel. Yeah, unfortunately didn't get the conversion to, uh, you know, keep it going in the corner, but all right, at least you got the RBS confirmed. Oh no, at least you get the bait on the parry. The jump out, very good. Clash, yeah, we just go for the five U right there. Exactly. All the multi hits in the world. Now we're just barely in SSBA range as well. Five U with the back step. Yes. We go EX so, fireball oh. for the crumple. It should be a clean confirm with the five U, tying it up one apiece in the loser's side. Not bad at all. Eddie Franco trying to lock in here, but so is Archangel, and it, it is. Turning into a situation where Eddie is just going to let Archangel overextend. We see the patience here. We see a couple callouts on the parries. What a DP again. Yeah, yep. play the classic Shota right now, Cat. I don't blame you. Yeah, exactly. We're seeing a lot of the aggression coming out from Archangel, but Eddie Franco, instead of, you know, throwing out a bunch of fireballs and losing a little bit of space as we get jumped in on, playing it a little slower, right? Introducing some of these delays to try and catch out Archangel. Ooh. There we go. That was scary. We almost yes. made it out the anti-air there, but good patience and the escape from the corner off the pogo. Yeah, that's such a huge call out right there, JT. The fact that we took a moment to reel back. You saw the 2M, but that moment of hesitation said, wait a minute, that is Zeta up in the skies. Yes. Wow, wake up old fireball. Yeah, maybe inspired by the wake up to you from earlier says, you're right. You know, sometimes <laughs> we can be a little bold with a high risk, high reward. Oh no, but wrist it all on the far M instead gets caught out over to the corner. But wake up 2M into the old fireball. We are swinging. 
Off to the wall we go. Nice throw for the finish here. Eddie Franco, round ahead. Mm -hmm. Franco dying with so much meter in the bank, but we're getting a lot of good uh, reads on the parries as well, so I think that definitely is getting into Archangel's defensive mental stack a little bit. Let's see how we can walk you down. Thrust? Ooh. All right, so we got a run-up throw. Ooh, the fuzzy as well Ooh. on the JH. There we go. Bring us over to the corner for a full confirm, and now we get another Pogo Oki. No, instead, just opting to end in the 5U and save the meter. Yeah, I imagine that's a misinput. Chelsea already got the crumple state off the fireball. Try to go coast to coast one more time. Thrust. Light wall to see if you're going to go for anything there, but Archangel, <laughs> tons of patience. There we go. Able to escape, run up, U beam. Kind of bad out a late fuzzy, fuzzy tech, but either way, 75 meter on the board for both of them. So scary. This is a volatile situation, but full BP, so don't have to worry about the damage bonus. I think you live one more hit. Aw, oh, never mind. Of course, I should have known we had the BP in the bank, the Raging Chain. To put another game on the board, Eddie Franco up 2-1 right now. Yeah, looking very strong right now on this Catalina. It's sometimes it's that damage output for Catalina, simpler strikes. Simpler yeah. routes. We have plenty of counter pokes against Zeta and what a dash L start. It's got the corner. You can extend this as much as you want to cycle back through some abilities. But now it's going to be a little bit of stagger pressure because you have nothing out of this corner to convert to. There we Ooh, go. Okay. I like that ending on the R best because we're so close from the corner that we're not able to get the spacing that's safe from, uh, you know, the third spear. But either way, Eddie's still able to find the hit post scramble. Look at how much damage we've taken so early into the round. 20 seconds in the round and already only 10% left. We're just swinging. Yes, indeed. Oh, what an EX thrust. And yeah, it's all but certain at this point. You stripped away all the health and even a chip would work. But EX DP, I'll gladly take. Round up for Eddie Franco. We are on match point. Sniped out of the sky. One more round between you and Loser's quarters. Oh, the walk back lunge as well, just to get us a little bit of corner carry. So here we are. Got the crumple again. Corner is going to be dominated by Eddie Franco. We've seen this throughout the run in pools. We've seen it through the top 16 qualifier. This is just the methodical play of Eddie Franco at this point here. Playing at that mid-screen, sitting in the sweet spot, right underneath that timer. Able to get the thrust out, though, is Archangel not quite ready. And you see that Eddie is really adjusting to a lot of his jump-in or even thrust attempts here from Archangel. Ooh, scary. Only going for the single uh, single spear there. Maybe trying to bait out a DP, but nothing found. Like you said, Eddie Franco just walking it down. Such a big health lead. Does not have to do anything too crazy, but off of the ultimate lunge. That's going to be the three... One for Eddie Franco. This is not the way that Autumn generally has played throughout this bracket. Yeah, let's see it. Even Kill in the chat saying, you know, the matchup against Starmaya can be a little annoying. Of course, she's got the jump scare with the dash L slash as well. Just a quick check to, you know, worst case, be safe and minus in your face and clear so much of that space across the screen, which generally you feel so comfortable holding on to with 2M, with Fireball, with Pillar as well. Now Neanderthal trying to escape this corner. So here we are. Already got back to the midstream. More stacker pressure here. Got the dash L 2M, and it's so... Man, J2, I don't know how many times you've been caught up trying to do this Versusia dash L, but everybody, just take a note real quick. Versusia dash L starts at the exact same time as everyone else. It just visually does not look like that. Exactly. Like, for the longest time, I thought her dash was a command dash because it starts so slow and accelerates so fast, but no, that is actually just the speed of her normal dash, right? Just... Mm -hmm. You know, bursting out of the gates as we speak. The U fireball, nice. the spot dodge on the L slash, but still gonna find the hit here for Autumn. All right, so strong start here. You definitely played in that zone where Vasusia might have a little bit of trouble, right? She loves to yeah. play at the mid screen, but you have a transient, right? They can go to the opposite side, really call out the forward special from Neanderthal here on Vasusia, really negate a lot of the specials that Vasusia wants to keep you at bay with. And once you're in, it's so tricky for Basusi to get you out. You only have alt forward special to really kind of help you out as that true reversal. Otherwise, you're praying. Yeah, nice. Exactly, the defense can be a little bit lacking, but still the run up baits out the brave counter. Raging Strike sniped out with the 2M. Now we're fighting to try and bring you over to the corner. Nice launcher. Yeah, that would be a weird one here. So definitely go for the alt back special. Link, tap to the overhead. No Ooh. reaction coming out from Autumn. BC out. 
Yeah, and look at the grenade set up there too. That was such a low, devious stuff here from Neanderthal to take around. That grenade is ultimately set up there, so if you do touch it, you get that crumple, and it's yep. deceptively larger than what it actually is. Like, yeah, you can get pretty close to it, but you can't try to 2L well through it or anything. You have to try to navigate around it, which puts you in a bad position against a character like Masusia. Exactly, it's scary. You play with Soulfire and you're gonna get burned. You try and go for the throw tech in the corner and Neanderthal swapping up the momentum so quick in these past two rounds. Already down to 50%. Next hit is lethal as well, but we get the flip out of the corner. We're just gonna do it twice in a row. Two crescent moons. The moon signs are going crazy as we speak. Oh! Yeah, I think it was the start of a heavy maybe, but we got hit by the crescent. Launches, you're dead here. Oops. 100 meter in the bank, we send it. There we go, the spiral for game number one. Neanderthal was definitely up against the ropes, I think, round number one, right? Trying to oh, adjust yeah. to, you know, Autumn's play style, of course, checking the command dash as well and getting brought to the corner, but definitely making uh, a lot more solid choices on the defense going into rounds two and three. And we do get at least a stock with the 5U. Already spent pretty early on the chase down here. We were looking for the room to have that immediate stock Right, any special follow-up here? Or we just go for the 5U follow-ups? Nice throw. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, there we what go. a Stagger call. bait out the UDP, but just a little bit too late on the punish. Yeah, Autumn caught mashing there with the 5L, thinking that the drop was going to be in favor for Autumn. Nice sort of yep. throw. Uh -uh. Oh, there you go. Just uh -uh. making sure the controller's <laughs> tall. <laughs> Phasing through. Yeah, just yeah. with the, the visual noise. She's so tall. We're like, oh, okay, are we, what are we going to do? And that is an input, folks. That, that's an input for for Susie, folks. So, <laughs> <laughs> I promise she has a 2-2-U. Two, two, <laughs> All right, there we go. Run up. Tap with the dash 2-L. Find the hit here. 5-U buff. All of these specials can be plus now. There's a 2-M. All right. No launch quite yet here. There it is. Mm -hmm. There we go. U-Pillar Link. Now we get another 5U buff, but the empty jump throw. Now we put you in throw range, trying to look for the shimmy, but instead it's UDP out. Oh, nice cutter throw. Oops. What a way to once again, the claws right back into the pavement. Neanderthal now up 2 0. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, again, just the rundown from Versusia. Very tricky to try to deal with here. And. Mm -hmm. Same can be said for Nermai, right? Because you have your, your DP out. You know She does have more tools to escape out of these corner situations, but I want to see that first round, right? That first round that we had against Neanderthal to get that run up, right? To be right within Versusia's face. You're playing that game where you're doing the strike throw, where you get your Crescent Slash callouts. We got a few good Crescent Slash decisions here from Autumn. Let's not get shook by the corner interaction. It was a quick decision. We dropped the decision to go for the 2-2 action. I assure you, chat. Scary staggers off of the 6XLs. The two L's, the walk back 2M. Autumn trying to swing out of the corner, but Neanderthal just playing the spacing perfectly. There we go. Get the refund. Safe jump. Empty low. Oh, but no confirm off the 2M. That actually might have been lethal to build up the 100, but now we're swapped up. No check on the command dash. No. There we go. Oh, Keep it simple. Double triple attack straight into the SBA. I was scared towards the end there that scaling could somehow save us, but that's no. yeah. I was definitely holding my breath for that, but I'm like, because sometimes for Susie's SBA is kind of misleading on hit where it doesn't quite kill the way you want to, but yeah. when you want it to. All right, so throw position here, and again, just be that bully that you were in that first game, first round. Like, that's what I want to see back from Autumn. 2M. There we go. Transient, but nothing after. Nothing too substantial, rather. Great patience from Neanderthal. Nice cross under here. Launches. Not enough for any sort of meter, but at least get the reset for your install. There we go. Dash under. Tried to poke out after the U Crescent rune. An awkward trade. But Autumn. Able to stay what are we the doing? Situation. LDP, no! It, there was no way. There was no way it was the forward special. Yeah, it, it, there's no way. But no. <laughs> oh no, man! It's not going to be able to kill you even when we're up against the corner, right? Because of the scaling. Surely the scaling saves you. No, 
Neanderthal finds the kill from coast to coast, the 3-0, to move on to loser's quarters. Exactly. They stagger you in the corner. You want to challenge on some of these seal sets. The scariest thing is when the seals are already set, right? And you're not looking for a reset point to try and interrupt. Like you just have to hold so many of these air dashes, which you can be so tricky with the trajectory. We can use it to escape the corner off of BC as well. So one diamond down the drain for, you know, really good positioning on the swap up. Definitely huge here for Locky as we go into game number one. Already got that quarter position. Nice EX. Locky looking very strong right now. Has a couple seals. I hate this setup so much. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, so it's the worst, chat, because the camera is all, all the way up in the sky. You're watching yourself fly into the oblivion, and suddenly, some of the Grimdier disappears. I gotta yep. guess what you're doing down there. Say, hey, buddy, what are you doing? I might go low, I might go high, you never know. Dude, the off screen high low is insane. I'll tell you that much, but it's an insane situation right now. Chip damage on the board after the Psycho Crusher, and all we needed was the EX Tornado. Locky takes a clean round one. Round two. Oh, yo, thrust round start. We got the fireball. It's it's already tricky because you notice Locky sitting on top of those gale dashes, right? That was so yeah. purposeful because we have a quick escape. If Eddie decides to thrust, it's a simple press, Jade. So just a 5 view. I warp wherever I want to go. Exactly. And it's funny that this is the second time we're seeing this matchup, not the last time either, right? Like Scavengers is saying, we'll see this exact same matchup for Winners Finals. And what I'm liking from Locky, this air dash right off of the ground to challenge the thrust, to challenge the fireballs, and it works out so well. That's a clean game one. Yes. Okay, Locky making the speed run here on this Losers Quarters match. See how the rest of it goes. And that's so smart to go for the dash. It'll push you away from any of those Gale Dash opportunities here. Force Locky to have to set it up. That was a down EX special, so you have extended time. You have less time to worry about those uh, Gale Dashes anymore. Yeah, we're spaced out in the corner, avoided the Brave Counter, so that diamond down the drain doesn't get you the escape that you need as well. A nice locked on a position with the EX Fireball here. Slides. <laughs> That is such oh. a heartbreaker. The drop on the far H allows Eddie Franco not only the escape out of the corner, but pushing you to the other coast as well. If there's anything we know Cat for right now, it's this consistent corner carry. Mm -hmm. Now we need one more touch after the EX thrust. 2M, light wall. Oh, we're already out of dodge. It still chases it down. Locky with a great call out here. It was darned if you do, darned if you don't by that moment anyways. You already yeah. committed to the light wall. So that's just a great reaction from Locky there. Good stuff. Exactly. You got to do something, right? There's no way you just hold on to it the entire duration. So the bionic arm, clean answer, like you mentioned. Now, Locky, dashing right on in. Finds a turn here for Eddie Franco. All right, the X launcher here. Here's the setup. It's high. Ooh. And a safe jump, too. Not going to go for the low options. Scouted out the EXDP. Now we're up against the corner with one more touch on the board. Yo, I can't believe I made that read, though. I'm proud of myself. I give myself a self-high five for that one. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't no. ready for the safe jump, though. That part, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing to have to keep on the mind here. 100 meter available for Locky, so he sent it. You tornado for a clean nice. knockdown. Does it one more time. So that's such a clean health lead. One more diamond Ooh. to try and escape. Beats <laughs> out the brave counter. And we find the throw as well. Loki up 2-0. Oh. Oh. All right, how do you stop this, right? As Eddie Franco, you're trying to figure out a way to slow things down. This dash hill approach, I think it's fantastic, again, to get the opponent away from these Gale Seals, but unfortunately, you're gonna take a heavy counter hit, and it's already looking very bad right now. Here's the setup again. Ooh. Mid? Oh, thank God. There you go. <laughs> Empty jump mid, my beloved. A little close L action. Maybe scouting out the EXDP or maybe just a little bit too, uh, you know, early landing on the ground. Either way, you're still in the corner. One more seal for Grimdir, and we send it minus frames into the UDP. Oh, ooh. Yeah, we definitely feel like we try to go for anti-air there or with maybe like a close M or something. Yep. Ooh, maybe left a little bit on the table there for Eddie Franco. Runs up and ends up getting mashed back out. Locky on set point. Oh, hit the pose. You, you've earned it. You've earned it, Locky. You're styling on everybody right now. Mm -hmm. You've earned the Junibio, but you need to earn this spot. Over there in the loser semis, you're one round away from doing it. And you got four seals on the board. Eddie Franco not going to give you any chance to use them, though. Yeah, let's absolutely shut that down with the immediate DP. A little preemptive on that one, too. Catching the initial jump arc for Locky there. Oops. 
go. Brought to the corner. Like the little shimmy walk back far H and now cash out into the SBA. Stabilize the BP situation. Light series? You gotta be careful that light wall. You've been called out one time. That's not... <laughs> it's not ideal to try that again. Exactly. Being very preempted to try and find a way to bait out that final BP, but there we go. Locky down. Locked down in the corner, and we find the wall bounce round up for Eddie Franco. But it's still set point. Okay. Eddie Franco at least gets that round, right? And got the thrust. Every single round start has been about keeping Loki away from those Gale Seals, and that is so critical, especially when you make an expensive start with the EX version of Down Special from Grimnir. Oh, touch the Tornado, and that's troublesome there. Max range for Loki, able to get the 5H. Another drill for safety. There we go. Send out the EX Tornado, but jump in is free. Able to escape the corner, but already lost 50%. It's a scary situation for Eddie Franco. The forward step after the light wall. No punish and no confirm either. I like that play, though. We recognize the situation that we're in, that a quick call out could happen off Gale Dash. Nice step after the light wall. Oh, that was your last break point, though. You will exchange yeah, it back. Go. You're on even ground here in break points. Able to hold on strong. Now it's one touch. I think throw is, yeah, also lethal range oh. as well. So looking for it. There's no UDP to have to worry about just yet. Just barely outside oh. of the 50 meter. But no BP. The raging strike check. The 28 frames for Locky seals out the 3-0. Moving on to loser semis. The stare down here as they try to get ready. You know, cool it, okay? Cool it, you two. I know you're good friends, but now it's time to throw hands. Versusia is going to be fun to check out in this matchup here. Both of them, honestly, Versusia has a lot of tools to stop the wave from really playing the way they want to. As you can see here, that pillar to start things off, shutting down both Catbot and any potential of the way wanting to set up. You can shut down the homies from running all the way from downtown. This is big damage in the corner here. Yeah, exactly. Lewayne, you know, normally so comfy setting up the bros, going for the item tosses once you have that respect off the cap up. No respect on the wake up, by the way, with the, you know, wake up close L to escape. But again, against the character that has fireball, that has the pillar, just runs right past it instead. So pretty stellar dash speed coming out from Lewayne. Oh, jeez. Yeah, JL will erase one of the homies for you, but it does leave you vulnerable as you drop in. Here we go. Pick up off the Raging Strike to bring us over to the corner, but down all this meter, we have 100 available from Neanderthal. You gotta respect that wake-up SSBA, oh. but it's the wake-up 2M instead. Yep, off into the corner. I love the side swap here. Able to finish the job, Neanderthal. Put me on a world of hurt as Versusia, and it's so easy to convert into those big damage opportunities there. It's just a single button, the EX special. You're able to press towards the corner. Her faster recovery on abilities. She can be such a threat. She is essentially that boss character, right? I mean, she is. It's just she certainly breaks some of those rules, right? Exactly. She is, you know, the boss character of the game right now. Pulling up, trying to be a boss in the neutral as we try to escape the corner. EX awesome sauce, but just bets it all on the minus frame parry. Stagger into throw. Oh, nice. The 2M is so far reaching. Took down Catbot. You called out. Lewayne here, side swap for corner, goes for 5U setup, and what a forward special here from Shuobu. There we go, send out the single bro. Not trying to be too greedy with the space out of the corner. I imagine we're looking for a uh, preemptive brave counter on a 6-6L, mm. but Neanderthal just waits it out right out of range for the final hit. That's game number one. It's that, that damage output from Versus, it can be so tricky to deal with. Lock in Shuabu is killing me, man. Yeah, he's getting the bros to text right now. He just handed his phone to the crowd and they're like, oh yeah, we'll be we'll be you in chat, man. We'll cheer ourselves up. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh, we gotta pick a stage now too. Oh, there um, we go. Really swapping up the mental stimulus. You're like, alright, I lost on this one. We gotta go to a whole new destination. Set up the OST. You see he's like are we really doing this right now? No! This is the one song <laughs> off stream! No! I can't believe it. We're going back this to is, old reliable. We, you can't do this. This is banned. This is banned. You can't pick Vakala. It's banned. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. We don't even have the Vakala ears on. You can't, you can't play without the ears. Well, here we are. Good old time. You can't escape from Vakala at this point. Like, that is what it is. Vakala is here to stay. 
Yeah, he can't escape from cheesing fate, but cheese ourselves over to the corner here, pick up off of the EX pillar, and now we wait it out. Looking for the parry, but now we're just holding down back of the corner, and again, it's the double throw. Said no, there's no way they look for it twice in a row. Well, Jitsu, I don't know who you're trying to cheese out here, but that is certainly a possibility on the side of Versusi. You got the plus frames off the alt pillar. Nice, the cap out. Let's get right back to the corner. Oh, no charge for you. You can't even run in. Oh, good Damn, roll. The roll through <laughs> ultimate fireball, but instead we're going to bring you to the corner for it. 50 meter down the drain. But down the drain is the HP, the 2L poke out from the Enderthal. Look, I got to say, that animation made it look heavily Matrix inspired. Uh, that was very cool. Shubu won in that regard alone. Yeah, that was kind of awesome. As far as style points go, looking pretty good, but great points reset here for round number two. Looking for something. Shubu trying not to be quite as greedy as they were in the previous round, but, you know, that passivity might just be getting you walked down to the corner for your troubles. Oh, good block here. Able to go for the 5L start. Oh, wow. Too late on the throw there. 2L opens up here, goes for the 5U, extend a little bit further. That does get you wall position here. Oh, no. All right, send the fireball just a little bit too far, but we're just holding on to that corner oh, space. No! Looking to try and keep you locked down. You baited out the Brave Counter with a Raging Strike and tiered you and brought you over to the other side of the screen. Raging Strike into Chain. You do have meter for another one if you so choose, but we decided to yep. go for back EX special. Combo limit has been hit. Yeah, final touch. I mean, there's... Ooh. Shubu spending ultimate awesome sauce here. Gets a little bit more of an extension. Cap bot to send forward. There we go. Clean bounce. Still needs a couple good hits to be able to make your way through the Versusia HP pool. Oh. And when you can only afford one more straight hit, one more block special off of oh, the chip yeah. damage you have to roll. I'm surprised we don't have a forward special coming from. Ooh. Oh no! I'm sorry, I've led you a straight Neanderthal! Wait, and we just barely got enough. Didn't even need to build up the 100 because the Raging Strike is lethal with no more BP in the bank. All right, round on the board here for Shubu. We got some uh, we got some momentum back. Oh, man, I can't believe the board special. I, I bet it all on that, and I still lost. How is Shubu owning and talking in chat at the same time? I don't know. He's got the bros. It's, it's the third arm of Shubu. I don't know what to tell you. It's Exodia finally online. Still, we're going to use that BP to escape the corner. Screen, nice spot dodge here, but it leaves you in a precarious position because Shubu still able to run in, get at least additional pressure. Wow, what a jump up. Yeah, right. Able to escape, and not only that, brings you right over to the corner as well off of the cross-up jump in. We set up the bros, but uh, the grand blue handshake. Yeah, we'll Classic try and check here. a dash. Super for SPA. Right, we took a little bit of damage here. Neanderthal yeah. with a strong life lead right now. We can block these. Spot dodge a little early, get caught by lava. There yeah, you go. I've, Held on to your BP at least, though. I'm surprised we didn't get the pillar punish. That was very interesting. Because that would be a full screen guarantee right at that point. Right. If we would have done it preemptively. Had to be ready at the moment the cooldown was going to be there. Damn, the run up parry too. Shubu kind of feeling himself right now to try and bring this round back, but does not want to go down 2-0 just yet. 50 meters just barely built up off the walk back. Wow. The walk up shitty parry. God, that was alt parry, no less. So it slows yeah. things down here from Neanderthal. Trying to get a cross up. Not going to work. I was really thinking he would do it a third time, but the second 6-6 mm -hmm. was all we needed. Not going to be able to dash past the pillar in time. And now it's 2-0. Just needs one more to move on to that loser semis. Yeah, EX Pillar is very tricky to avoid. You're better off trying to go for a spot dodge on it when you re uh, when you realize that it's going to be active there. Otherwise, you can run down. The light medium yeah. pillars, like you could certainly run and just ignore. Yeah. But for the EX version, because it tracks, you will have to go for a spot dodge instead. Yeah, tracking is terrifying. It is, uh, you know, quite the move to have to deal with in neutral, especially as you're trying to run on through and start your pressure, but... There we go. The pressure is definitely on here for Shuabu. Down 2-0. Might be one game away from being sent out of the bracket here, but starting it off strong in game number three. 2M able to follow through thanks to the 5U install. Yo, we've been caught by that so many times by the run-ins from Neanderthal. And I wonder if it is, again, we called out earlier the strange dash speed that Versusia has. And I wonder if it's that mental v visual that you do get of just thinking, I'm not in dash yet. I can't react or I can't stop and spot dodge. Like, you're just so committed. Exactly. What? Double Ooh. close L. Tried to go for a frame kill, but instead mm -hmm. gets caught up on the back throw for your troubles. 
right. Oh, you can't, you're snacking in the face of Versusia with a 100 meter? Just a little elote right in front of your opponent's face. Oh, no, but all the way across the screen again, sniped out by the pillar, that full screen threat we keep mentioning. Yeah, try to go for the ender there. Oh, but the lunge right in front of your oh, face. Oh, shot! Again, the raging no! strike on him, but no confirmed Shuabu! It was right there. It could have been the pillar. Oh, I mean, it could have been a follow through from Shuabu. Off of anything, all your abilities were there. Could have been awesome sauce. It would have won. Yeah, maybe you wanted to go for a simple confirm there and keep it tournament combo safe, but I don't think you had enough for the uh, raging strike confirm. That's how it goes. But there we go. We find the slide for Shuabu. The escape off of the cat bot too. Block, great patience, recognizing the 5U install. Ah, uh, early spot dodge. We'll get sniped by the forward special from Neanderthal. Ooh, spot dodge scary, but nothing found from Neanderthal. It's the EX parry to escape, and now we run right behind the cat rockets. Jeez. Dash in. We're still able to challenge out Neanderthal with life. Huh? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, escape. That's the Mandate of Heavens, keeping you alive, and the bro eating the hit off of the 6-6-L as well. Neanderthal bounced all the way to the top of the screen. I'm laughing that later. That, that, uh, wait, that wait, wait, right. wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> Check him, controller. That is not normally, man. Oh, no, but off the Raging Strike, it's not enough to kill, but J.U. saves the day. Running to the first game of victory here. Shubu, explain yourself. I don't, I don't need people, your copy pasta know right now. I need you to explain yourself. Stop auto-texting in chat while you're playing. <laughs> Stop playing for a second and tell me. Take a time out. He scheduled the stream deck to talk <laughs> while he was he was competing, man. Man, mobile stream deck has come such a long way. That's what I'm saying. Oh, came such a long way across the corner. All the way over to this other side off of the U-Link, but not able to hold on to the corner just yet. All right, this time around, alt boys do work out. There we go. Send the wheel. We're just gonna go right through the cat rockets as well. No combo breaker to be seen here. Mm -mm. Bait out with 2L and just full screen push away. We need a few snacks. Try to heal. There we go. A little Let's street see. food. The Elote on deck, but Shubu still so worse for wear on the HP. Oh, geez. Nice 2M conversion here. You got the round. You got the game. You are advancing 3 0 over Shubu. It's all the typing in chat. That's what cost Shubu the entire set right there. That's gotta be heavy though, right? Like, how much That's added? <laughs> heavy, heavy weighs the crown, right? But you're trying to get that top one spot here. Fighting for the crown in this winner's finals. We set up all the seals. And Elsa, not trying to get baited by any of these air dash shenanigans. It's fine if you consume some of these seals. Mm -hmm. One away, I'm just getting out of dodge here. Yo, Fireball War, not gonna work out in your favor because we get sniped out for seal setup. Off the wall, big damage opportunity for Elsa to start things off. Oops. Okay, L Fireball on block. We end up getting sniped out by the U Tornado. Damn! Okay, conceal, consume all the seals to escape, but now trying to escape the corner once again. Oh. Ends up trying to bait out something, but Elsa, so patient! <gasps> oh, the trade does work out in Elsa's favor. That life lead's still there. Oh, wait, I saw Kanme <laughs> in the chat earlier. How many top players is Kanme gonna consume here? Hold on now. That's what I'm saying. Because y'all were, we're yo, staring at that lack of Zane? sponsor tag yeah. on Zane, so. <laughs> There we go. We find the match shot for Elsa here. And it's still grounded, right? We still have all the combo counter in the world, and it should be a clean confirm for round one. Hey, Elsa with a strong round start once again. I feel like that corner position, obviously the threat of being able to snipe out so much damage, command that space very quickly, but what a block from Zayn. Able to challenge with a couple of these Gale dashes out here. Yep. DP up. Seals behind us to be tricky. Meaty EX Tornado baits out the Brave counter, but ends up getting back thrown on the way back down. Right, nice spot dodge. Full screen position is where we're at here. Double Gale Dash to close the gap. You don't want to be threatened by this thrust. And look at how cautious we're in setting up these seals. We don't want to overcommit to like an EX setup because then that leaves us vulnerable there. Yeah. All these seals, all these tethers just being so tricky with the movement, but ends up air dashing yourself into the corner. But with all the meter, we send it with you, Tornado. We set the seals only to get counter hit by Elsa, and now we've evened up the health lead so quick. Box dash out. Whoa, did we try to grab there? There was a button for sure from Elsa. Yep, an air stall right above that U fireball just with the seal set. 
so even on everything but the meter situation. Oh, there we go, looking to bait these anti-airs, but Elsa not gonna bite. Walk it out, walk it back. Oh, it's so scary. No, gonna get sniped out. And that is a game for Elsa. It's so scary. If you wanna have preemptive set up the seals, which we tried to do at that position, but it's so difficult because that threat of Catalina thrust is always there. You get to that mid-screen, that round start range. It's right there for the taking here. So you have to be so cautious how you set it up. That EX yeah. Tornado is a great way to start. Yeah, the ultimate fireball at that position is so smart, right? Either, okay, we're going to commit to air dashing back. And at least, at worst, you hold plus frames. At worst, it's an air unblockable. But it also stops the approach when throughout the entire game one, we've been so patient on all of these approaches from the seals. There we go, air dash right in. So it's a challenge from Elsa, but a little bit too far for a far L confirmed. We get you tornadoed for our troubles. Nice. Garcants for Garcants. We want to maintain our advantage and yes stray hits we go for another jump baits out the throw zane with plenty of resources let's go for the super quite yet what's the next combo to get the kill Ooh, spot dodge on the ultimate fireball right that's how we lost that first game so really have to play with awareness Ooh. around it 100 meter down the drain no refund on the board and we walk up for the throw bait should be a clean kill for zane Yikes, that was so terrifying. Honestly, that dash L should have been able to convert into bigger damage for the victory here. Fortunately, we got the next hit to follow through right after Zane stealing that round here in what could have been a terrifying situation. But we remember that alt fireball. So we got that spot dodge, able to maintain that neutral, good reaction. But Elsa able to fight right back immediately here. Ever stoic on defense with the spot dodge will be your demise. There we go, the ultimate seal set. All screen 50 50, dash in for the low. Clean pick up, so much meter in the bank as well, but I think you just barely live. No, we built up the 100, so it's a clean SBA. And as fast as we saw that one on the board, we've tied it up so quick between these two. Some of their first losses in this entire bracket already. Literally, they both give each other their first loss throughout the entire run, just as you said. Like, it is. It's crazy to think about. They've been so dominant in this bracket that it's only the two Titans here that are really going to start to draw first blood. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we've seen it both from both sides, like, all right, all right. I did not underestimate your game, but now seeing it in person, now it's game number three to try and break the tie. Nice thrust. Some away. Ooh, actually goes for yeah. aerial special here to get some extra hang time there. Yeah, that was scary. We whipped the EX Fireball, or the old Fireball, rather, oh. and then we're just holding on to the guard button. We're like, all right, I, I accept my turn is over. Some tricky oh, air nice. stalls here off of the Z-Dash, and now we find the hit for Zane. Nice launch. We are well set up for the mix here. You ready for it? Combo limit is acquired, but we go for Alt DP. I think we may have dropped out earlier than we wanted there on that combo, though, from Zane. Walk it out a little bit too far for the 6-6-L. We claimed all four seals in a row just to escape to the mid-screen. Oh, outside the range of the EX thrust there. Yep. If we're holding on to these Gale dashes, open up. Oh! Walk it out. Ooh, okay, sniped by the fireball out of the air dash, but still one more seal. Nice. Then we got four more off the refresh. Light wall, let's get out of dodge here. JM and the light wall to absorb the guard cancel, but we did get the punish. Yeah, just a little bit too late on the follow-up. Would have been potentially lethal with the meter build. One diamond apiece, 12 seconds left oh. on the clock. The EX Fireball is clean. Not enough for a third, but we got EX Thrust with a wall bounce. Elsa for the round. Very clean. It is so unfortunate because Zane was trying to follow it with a Fireball of their own, but Elsa immediately pulls the trigger on the alt Fireball. Good stuff. There we go, the Clash. Air dash back, trying to bait something out from Elsa, but again, we're leaning back into the patience, just letting you spend the seals and spend those cooldowns on trying to bait something out from me. Two M there to start. Zane gonna go coast to coast with another seal set up. Okay. Easy out. Nice. Wow. Actually, I would have gotten hit by that because we've not seen that from Elsa quite yet. After the spot dodge into thrust, I would have bet for sure that Zane was gonna commit to a run. The fact that we didn't was absolutely amazing. 
the J2 in for you as well. Woo! Just waiting. We get the spot thoughts on the Raging Strike. Didn't quite get the confirm that we needed, but one more throw bait to tie it up. These gamers are so neck and neck. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am absolutely nervous for this set. Thinking about all that's on the line right now, who's got an easier run for the rest of this, you know, Arc World Tour qualifying series? It's only the beginning, right? The first set between this two, these two story players. Talking about YOLO Elthrust, but YOLO MVP not going to work out for Elsa the first time we've seen it to try and escape the block string, but Zane just waiting with the micro delay. Able to find an escape out of the corner, but you lost so much health for it. Screen situation here. Yeah, we're waiting for that opportunity to set up that seal, right? We go for the walk yep. back to try to get more ground. But the fear again is Elsa sniping with a thrust. Gale Dash not opening up. Elsa just holding on to block. We've not been crossed up yet on those Gale Dashes, so it's a safe bet. But we're still able to get the finish. Zane taking the lead here. Yeah, we're talking about the fear and nerves as well, right? We saw that blue flash and immediately the spot dodge coming out from Elsa, right? Because you've seen so much of you Psycho Crusher and especially the U Tornado as well, just dodging a lot of these fireballs back and forth. But it almost gave us this, you know, quote unquote free. Yes, we had to spend 50 for it, but no challenge on the U seal to seal out that final interaction, which now puts Zane up 2-1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very suit call out there. No, honestly, it, it is those small interactions across the game here that really start to build up for these uh, players at this level. And it does look like we might be going back to near on this one. And I'm not sure, even Elsa is not quite certain as we're sitting on the character select screen if this is the play. Because honestly, the way that Zane is gonna be able to navigate around the screen, we're gonna be able to call out quite a bit of the traditional reversals that we see from near. We saw this happen at ECT. It was certainly, it, you know, a good run, right? Uh, Elsa taking fifth place at ECT this year yeah. with Nier. And since then, it's just kind of been, you know, up in the air where, because honestly, Elsa's been bouncing around a little bit since the patch and had rested on Nier for quite some time, but the consistency of Catalina, certainly a strong pick too. So hopefully you don't get called out by this Grimnir play already. Death is down. Yeah, exactly. It's such a quick, uh, you know, timer to come back up because we only spent the one stock, but all we need is that one second of death being down for Zane oh. to run away, snowballing so fast early on into this round. Yeah, and again, death down for just a brief moment here because of the fireball setup. So already 75% health down here. It's the final combo interaction where Zane could take it. There we go. We go for the double unsummon just to get a little bit more gauge oh! back. We spent so many of the stocks, but Air Dash JL on the other side with 100 meter on the board. That's a clean, quick kill to put us on set point. J2, need I remind you, last game I had just said we've not crossed up yet off of Gale Dash. Elsa yep. is very yep. comfortable by blocking the same side in Zane. Finally, not the exact same setup, but it's the cross up that still opens up Elsa here. Mm -hmm. There we go. We send it off of the DP, pick up the run under, but. Clean off the guard. Stagger off of the seals. Ooh. Lock it in. Spot on. She had calls out the final strike from death. That's great awareness here. You gotta watch those cards because you know the sequence is gonna happen if you watch that cards come out. Ooh. There we go. And waiting it out for the longest duration possible. 13 full seconds with no death on the board. Yes, you built up such a big life lead as well, but yeah, you have no raging strike to have to worry about. So even the 6XL really isn't going to get you too much. Almost back up here. H locked in the corner here, waiting for death to call. Yeah, we hold this. Car cancels. <laughs> One more touch. Now it's no BP either side. We were threatening the run up 6XM earlier on into the round. Stayed same side with the close L. And we finally need it for last hit. Elsa goes up around. Such a risky dash M2 at that point, yeah. right? Like, it's... It, and it, again, becomes one of those scramble situations where your mental stack is not looking for it, right? We saw that earlier off the raw raging strike here. Same thing could be said right here, where we could have just helped block, but Zane was terrified about losing that route. Nice, small walk back here from Zane. Could he get that close heavy to open up against Elsa? Yep. Enough Whoa, to walk back. Bait on the throw, but see? not enough to escape proximity. And now another bait from Zane. We build up the 100, but no. Instead, we go for the UCL. One more 50-50 to end it all. And it's the Air Dash JL to seal out Zane's spot in Grand Finals winner's side.
Honestly, it, Neanderthal has quite the collection of characters that they can play throughout the set here. So if it ends up yeah. not working, there is the alternative pick. Seox is certainly the one that put Neanderthal well within reach on the map. But also, let's not forget Jade 2. Neanderthal yeah. has a Grimnir as well. Exactly. So yeah. there's a lot of knowledge in this matchup here that I'm sure Neanderthal could be ready for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not even just thinking about it in counter pick sense, but knows exactly what to look for against this character and runs up the deep 6XL to bait out a counter hit. Instead, brought to the corner for your troubles. 100 meter available, so we go for the U refund. All right, goes for the reset here after the combo limit. Tries to go for that safe jump, and it doesn't quite work out here, but you still own that corner. Nice yep. heavy from Lockie. Tried to go for the dash M instead, but knocked right out of the overhead. BC for the corner, run up. The acceleration on the dash is so tricky, especially off of that dash 2L. Well. Cancel, got the 5U, and boy, you want that crumple so bad. You got it, you spent it twice, but missed the dash L. It's kind of tricky at that range to get the conversion Ooh. there. Ooh. Oh, it's simple. Just 2L to finish the job. It really is as simple as that. Yeah, the, the dash trajectory, the acceleration is so tricky, right? You're looking for the throw, you're like, all right, they're really going to run up in my face, but just barely able to break outside of that throw range. Scary for round number one here, but Neanderthal just chilling in the corner. Off the ball we go. Nice pickup. Spends all the resources here in terms of abilities. I spot dodge on the cancel. Oh my god, that stripped the last break point and Lockie has two more. You could just keep going for the Raging Chain combo if you want. And all the damage in the world. And like you mentioned, right, we take out that last BP, which not only does it make it so you can't Brave Counter back, but it's all the damage, that extra 150%. So there we go, tying it up clean. Oh, Gale dash in, already got quarter position. This is, again, I've said this before, against Versusia, Getting in this space is so important. Autumn tried the exact same thing, but wasn't able to maintain that corner position. But you look at Locky, right? Playing on yeah. Grimnir, it makes it all the more easier with the Gale dashes. You do have Tornado set up. We've seen that before. Like, it is such a strong Woo! setup for the character because where do you move? That Tornado is right there. If you try to jump, you put yourself in an air, -air position or even just an anti-air position from that corner because of the spacing that we're at. You can't mm -hmm. roll because then you get challenged into it. You could try to roll right past it, but immediately after recovering, you're going to get pressed on. That puts you right in the tornado. Exactly. There are certain characters or certain distances where you might be able to swing with the 2U, but, mm -hmm. you know, you risk recovering into it. You risk them just waiting outside of range and looking for a whiff punish behind the tornado, too. So it's a hard call out. Even with the 6XM, right, might actually end up uh, low crushing it as well. So it's not an RPS weighted in your favor. You're trying to avoid the situation entirely. And Neanderthal finds the 2M. Oh, jeez. What a challenge. Oh, but too far for the throw. Good try from Rocky, but... Neanderthal will certainly take advantage of it. You may as well just close the round out here. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Clean pickup. 100%. SBA, a clean kill. All right, but this is exactly how the first game started. It was a lead for Neanderthal, and then right after Lucky was able to turn it around. Walk it out, just barely outside of range of that Ooh. tornado, but not outside of range of the triple air dash right behind the back as Neanderthal trying to look for a delay anti-air, but instead sniped out one dash too early. Ooh. All right, tries to go for the fuzzy situation here. Yep. After the air dash, L looked to bait a brave counter afterwards, found the attack. Still, Neanderthal getting caught up in the scramble afterwards. Jeez. Still needs a couple more hits because we don't build 100 off of this next touch, but oh, especially now that we put ourselves into the corner, counter hit for H. Oh, deep run up throw, final touch is all that we need, but we get the throw a little bit too early there from Lockie. Dash L, reset the oh. raging strike, are you kidding me? No, didn't believe in the hit, but still found the reset after either way. I wonder if it was just so delayed that we missed the immediate follow up after Dash L. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right, great decision making there from Loki in the corner. You're just sending up fireballs, not putting yourself in a bad spot to get checked because you are in a death situation here. If Neanderthal would have gotten a hit at that position, would have been well bounced off the corner. Full cycle of abilities and right into SBA for a round and game, the first game for Neanderthal, if they would have done that. Yeah, and I also really like the use of the U Tornado in particular from Lanky, right? That pillar is so pesky, especially the EX startup and the tracking as well, but slowing it down with that blue flash 
able to secure that round. We're going to see it one more time just to try and snipe Ooh. something else. But the delay on EX Pillar, now that we don't have the 50 to worry about, smart patience from Neanderthal. That's going to be the flaw in this matchup if Grimnir gets put full screen because there's so many tools that Neanderthal can interrupt with. Like we've already seen the alt pillar. You can do the EX pillar as long as you got the install. You're trying to ult right through the pillar with the alt fireball of your own. It's just not going to work out. Ooh, ooh. Damn, the air dash behind the back. You see, not going to find you, but Neanderthal still able to find the hit off the scramble. Let's tie it up 1-1. One, one. Susia again, like plenty of damage potential. Pretty straightforward game plan in terms of trying to put on that damage and even mid-screen game is pretty straightforward, right? You're trying to reach with your 2Ms and even just far-reaching normals to just convert into an EX seal to push your opponent to the corner or just snipe things out from full screen with throw. That's added up now, at least on the side of Loki there, where we've had a few with throw situations. BC, BC, three diamonds down the drain. Tried to go for the Z dash off the air dash, but still sniped out. Okay, very awkward scramble. We're trying to, you know, spend some spend some meter to stabilize. Okay, good spot dodge. Oh, oh. no, too early on the anti air. Yeah, that was scary. We saw the whiff on the two age. Would have been so huge for momentum to bring you into the corner and put you in one touch, but there we go. Now it's the same situation, but instead for Locky, clean block on the 2L though. The corner. Oh, again, see, this is adding up far more than, you know, just the small mistakes that Locky has been making throughout the set. You're giving so much opportunity for Neanderthal to really get out of these dire situations where Locky should be well winning on the offense here. But that's maybe four with throws that we've seen so far in the set. Oops, but no whiff on the fireball, though. Big chilling on this other side of the screen says, no, I don't want to have to worry about the throw and the leap catches the run up from Locky. Okay, awkward trade, but you got the perfect positioning for Neanderthal right now. Just runs up into the 2L. Pick up in the corner. Still looking for that 100 meter, so it's going to be a little bit until you find it. U skill is the threat here against the corner, but we just fully mash out with the 6XL. Oh, very rare dodge on EX pillar right there, just by. Trailing through the skies off a of Gale Dash. That's unfortunate. And also yeah. very fortunate that it doesn't go behind Versusia. I feel like that is absolutely what you guys intended. Thank goodness. Ooh, walk it out. The slow walk forward. Menacing Aura. Definitely got the Gravitas, but... Now swept off of your feet here with that SSBA. Still not enough, especially with no cinematics. So one more throw could be it. H. Ooh. Um... Mm. Yeah, try to go for that EXDP there from Grimdeer. I'm not sure what we were trying to call out. Like, that was definitely a Hail Mary read that we were trying to go for, it seems like. Yeah, maybe a, uh, you know, very creative, a few steps away, you know, throw bait outside of range. But yeah. either way, gave Neanderthal all the time they needed to look for that UDP. And now they're up 2-1. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I am agreeing with chat. There was no way that was supposed to be DP. The only yeah, thing that exactly. really could have caught is if Neanderthal would have put out a heavy, which then would have been able to trade out here. But that would have been like yeah. information you got from the prior games in this set here. That has not been the case inside Neanderthal, who would be willing to throw out a heavy like that. Exactly. Putting some heavy damage Ooh. on Lucky's HP right now. One more touch. Nice okay. little spot Throwing dodge. Out. Still still mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the 2H though. Yeah, you can extend that. Yeah, I actually... Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. I, I didn't believe in the kill. I'm not going to lie. I thought it'd be a sliver left, but now it's only one round left for Locky potentially in this tournament run. Nah, not on the back alt special there. If anything, after that DP situation off the EX, he could have done a 5M and then converted it in the back special just to make sure you went over a little bit. But yeah. I do like that immediate spend into the alt, uh, back alt special there anyways, because then you got the damage reset or the meter refund for it too, even if it didn't kill. Yeah, definitely a bold spot dodge coming out from Neanderthal, right? We had the seal set, so many ways to bait it out. Got you the back throw off the Psycho Crusher, but Locky still holding on strong to that tournament life. Pulls up for the JL, but yeah, the rising JL, not gonna get you too much. Guard cancel here, tried to get another guard cancel out, but Locky with a stagger able to smother it. Oh, nice, immediate drill. Ooh, all oh, and we got the additional positioning here after our own drill. Dash L connects. Not even get the finish, but we do reset into overhead. 
All right. The run is still alive. It's still set point for Neanderthal, but you know, while we're seeing Loki, I think maybe get into their heads a little bit. It seems like the composure is back on the board. Damn, double dash all the way from across the sky and across the screen as well. Now we got you in the corner. Watch back here. Oh, ducking the forward special here from Neanderthal. Clean off the overhead, but still tried to mash on afterwards. Neanderthal has you up against the wall again. Next hit with super is going to be lethal. Yep, we hit that combo limit there. Uh, got our throw. You're done. A little bit of a shimmy right there. If you open up, it's all said and done, and we cover up our offense. The dash H will connect that overhead as you get absorbed by the alt pillar. And that does mean Neanderthal advances into losers' finals here. Man, this really is the lore matchup, too. I'm not going to lie. It's not quite mother versus daughter, but like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's bestie versus versus mom friend here over in the losers finals elsa able to find the first hit off the fireball but okay jump in just a little bit too far out to find the hit honestly catalina is probably the mom that stepped up right between these two <laughs> so <laughs> like, let's be real you're so right oh no tried to step up with the dash too well but a little bit too far elsa with the walk back just trying to maintain that space so we're not getting jump scared and also checks the dash with a 2m I was so terrified of that down special as Elsa just calmly walks away from the exploding bomb in front of her face here. Off the wall we go to. I'm not going to get a full conversion there. Cool mons do not look at explosions. We're looking for the spot dodge here to try and catch out in a preemptive thrust. Instead, Andrethal just trying to walk their way back out of the corner. 100 meter on the board now for both sides. Nice. Had a spot dodge on the alt fireball here. Oh, it's so scary. You... You can roll the alt grenade here, but at the time, if you didn't already have the input, you're just going to roll right into it. So better to just walk away. Exactly. Stops, dropped, and rolled into the corner. We saw the 5U give up tempo for space, and now it's giving up so much of this HP. The light wall confirmed for the full corner carry. Elsa takes round one. Oh. Actually, that was for how serious of a lore matchup crazy. this is, like the Vicky theme really... <laughs> it's got my brain doing... Well, Flips. To be fair, every fight in Grand Blue seems insanely nice, even from the villains. So that's I true. Can't be upset. Like they're all just we're fighting. That's okay. Very that's cool. what I'm saying. Still a fantasy here, but pulling up with the EX leap, and we find the throw as well. Good blocks. Oh no! Eating that Ooh. fireball situation here. There's the oh. Sucker five L. Whoa! Yeah, very good call out on the throw. Yeah. Tried to DP, but look, we got all grenade. Beautiful conversion from Neanderthal. There we go. Sniped out. Perfect spacing to avoid the UDP while still keeping the pressure up. I mean, you had the 50. You might as well spend it to secure that round. Still fighting back and forth in game number one. Very smart. We've seen time and time again in the Neanderthal. Round start with the down special. Roll is such a great answer because you're gaining ground. You can potentially interrupt there. And depending on the follow-up here, how early you roll, you're still going to get your turn back. Plus on throw whip as well. That grand blue handshake over in the corner. But instead, we're going to go preemptive this time. Looking for the back throw, and it works out for Neanderthal. Watch out. Nice spot dodge again here. Neanderthal not giving up this corner position. Dash L is so scary. Nice, Dash H, another one? Oh my god. Yeah, because of the way her acceleration works, you can't even see the dash startup of that 6-6-M. Tapped on the dome twice, but instead Elsa brings you over to the other corner saying, no, 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 trying to go for a third reset. The back dash, you have enough time to recover, but already pressed the button on the way over the SSBA. It's them both in one touch. Ooh. Clean confirmed. No meter required for the spend. The EX thrust tried to bet it all in the run up backdash, but instead the mash out coming from Elsa takes game one. See, there's that hydration right there. Always. Key to victory. Key to victory. W or a mash. So true. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mash with the Conqueror's hockey. I gotta be real. The what? You know, sometimes you got that gravitas about you, right? You got that intimidating glare. 
just glaring at you from the other side of the screen. Pick up off of the EX Fireball. Now we pull up. So much health taken away from the end with all so early on into the round, but swung right into the Fireball. G2 leaving me flabbergasted. It's crazy work as we spot dodge through the all, all Fireball here. Oops. Okay, back throw. Still a lot of health to try and work through for Neanderthal, but you got the you got the spot dodge on the BC, only to not get the punish afterwards. Oh gosh. With the SSBA, actually, hold on. What specials do you have? One more. Launch it. There you go. And then you send right after this. There you go. I think you have yeah, a... you the BP. Oh my god, wait. No, oh, the screen they, shot shot <laughs> <laughs> they said watch this. We're putting this one in with a kill. I can't oh. believe it. They're, if we cut to the player cam, they're definitely both smiling. They're like, did you really just do that, bro? They're like, I'm sorry. I was just mashing my buttons. <laughs> no, that was a, if I can't play Vakala, I'll be Vakala. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That forward throw Polaroid. No Justin Wong to be seen, though. No hearts on the screen either. Waiting for that 50%. out here on combo limit that's what we're looking for get a little bit of room with light wall that's such a safe retreat for catalina there too yeah exactly man brought to the edge with the sba now throw range should be lethal as well oh just a little bit outside of it but especially if you go for a late tech or a button tech as well so scary spent the 50 just to get bc'd mm. oh. Wow, yep, Dash L, finish the job here. Okay. Elsa trying to set another game. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sword in the Stone tied up here in game number two. Oh. Yeah, looking for the ant here, but those we might be a little shallow horizontally, so not trying to get mm -hmm. baited out. Oh, nice Ooh. spot dodge. Yeah, Very the pillar. Stuff. And you know what? That's such a smart EX fireball right there because it's not going to put Catalina in a four position. So you just have that fireball on top of Versusia, depending upon what she wants to follow through with. If it was going to yep. be the DP. Okay, charge up the 5U. Walk it out. <gasps> that was scary. I thought we were going to end up in the late active frames of the U ball either way. So chilling. Oops. Yeah, definitely EX forward special here just to finish the job. Neanderthal putting a game on the board. All right, so we're breaking the streak that we had in the top 16 qualifier here. Mm -hmm. Blank is also, to be set down into the losers finals, but now mm -hmm. dropping a game here as well. So taking a second on the hydration, we're like, all right, let's re let's reassess the, the game plan here before we head into game three. Yeah, especially after a flawless run throughout this bracket until Zane ended up taking games off of Elsa here. Neanderthal going to be the second player to ever put a game against Elsa right now. Yep. Throughout this whole bracket. No! Tried to send the EX Fireball, but Pillar catching you out while that travel time is still chilling. Your 5U. Nice spot dodge. Ooh. A little bit slower oh, on the startup for Neanderthal, but still able to find the hit off the far H, but all the way across the screen. The far reach on the EX with the ultimate Fireball, and we get the wall bounce too. Yeah, just the early flip out there. Just want to overextend and hit that combo limit too early. Yeah. And you're in great position. out of range of the fireball. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Could have. Very well could have. It wasn't a bad call for Elsa to try to go for that dash L interrupt. Walk it out. Far L. Yep. Got to be respectful of the UDP, but knows Neanderthal isn't trying to bet their life on it. Just like, just like that. Nice setup of the down alt special there. Mm -hmm. okay. Spot dodge. Spot dodge. Now that's 50 meter. Gonna be a while until you build up another. So we send it. Space taken oh, off geez. of the U grenade. Yeah, Dash M not gonna find any mark whatsoever, but the forward EX special from Neanderthal certainly will. And that's what we've seen again, though. That setup right behind the grenade. Elsa dares to make a forward approach. You think maybe low, but Neanderthal yep. still trying to bait it out that dash medium. Catches the attempt to try and mash there with a run-up EX lead, but oh, EX thrust for the wall bounce. Already down to 50%. Elsa, once again, has ultimate fireball available as well, but doesn't even need it for the confirm. 
Yeah, a few lights in this one here, so this quickly gets mitigated. You hit the combo limit because of it, and that means that you oh, return the favor there. Not quite. Dash M does get blocked again. Yeah, we went for the roll to try and escape and get the side swap, but ended up dropping the punish for it. Still, a better situation, I think, than putting Elsa at, you know, still needing two hits to die. 75% meter available for Neanderthal. Ultimate Fireball and Ultimate Pillar are a factor, but the walk back close cell is too. Go launcher. Yep. Plenty of resources. You spent SSBA here. Strike, SSBA, battle of the acronyms here. Now we have you at one touch because we stole all those BP back, but Ultimate DP, oh, I think just barely isn't lethal against Neanderthal, especially with the Versusia health pool. Oh, very scary with the run up the throw. Oh my goodness, Neanderthal gonna take the lead here, two to one over Elsa right now. Oh no, this this changes everything. I didn't quite talk about how Neanderthal could also come up to the top, and Elsa really feeling it right now. Mm -hmm. Like this is also a, a another player again who has been through the thick of it here in vanilla on the side of Neanderthal, so very well versed in the game has experience with multiple characters across the cast. And this sh also continues to shake things up because of the scoring in the Arc World Tour. We're talking like just even fewer points for Elsa here to really solidify that position. And you can see the stress kind of sitting on Elsa's face right now. Yeah, exactly. It's already a fight between, you know, first and second place, that 100 versus 45. But really trying to lock in right now is, you know, potentially Going down to 20 points put would put Zane in position to go so far ahead on the leaderboard. So it's not just, oh, I don't want to lose here in the loser's finals. It's not just, oh, I want the run back against Zane. But thinking in the long term, I want to make it and qualify for my spot in the Arc World Tour. There's a lot riding on the line here of this potential final game in Elsa's run. So taking the time at the character select, mm -hmm. taking a second to breathe, and then trying to recompose. What do we want to bring for this final fa potential final match? Such an important decision, and we're hovering uh, no, over the no. old reliable near as well. Jade Sue, I'm so sorry. This is not going to be it. Don't do this. Like, oh man, there are a lot of good look. Near is cool, right? But it's yes. not pre patch near. Yes. Near in this match, do not do this. We're talking full screen zone here. You're able to stop death in, in her tracks in so many ways, especially with that down special. Forward special is just tall enough where it's going to snipe death. Pillar is going to be a constant threat because if you try to send death, I react with Pillar. EX Pillar on the fly. Like, this is mm -hmm. going back special even. will blast right through death on recovery and then also strike against Nier. Like, the toolkit of Versusia is... We'll see. We shall see as Elsa locks in Nier for what is potentially going to solidify either a forward advance towards 45 points or only 20. Putting Elsa just underneath Zippy, who has 245 points right now. Yep. Dude, I've been reading a manga about magic, talking about mana curves, right? We think about Kat as kind of this all-rounder, even if she's knocked down in the corner, incredible defensive options. Whether she's, you know, on the back foot or the front foot, she has ways to try and get out, right? But mm -hmm. near, if you overestimate on the stocks, if you spend so early, and then all of a sudden Neanderthal is able to find a fight back out, any mistake here in the sequencing can put you out for 8, 10, 13 seconds at worst. That yes. can be such a big swing, but let's see if Elsa is going to be able to swap it up. The swap and visual stimulus seems to be working out in game one, or game four, rather. Okay. Keep in mind, too, Neanderthal certainly capable of swapping characters in the next game if we do end up losing out. And we do have a six on the side of Neanderthal. We saw a six come from Neanderthal earlier in this bracket. It was in the set against Elsa in the top 16 qualifier here, but strong spot to be. Nice throw. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Getting it out. There we go. UDP is a factor as well, but we got the death grips. 2 2 U to try and escape. BC stops death for just a little <gasps> bit in the 2 M order. Should be enough. There we go. The super for the confirmed Neanderthal on set point. That was crucial to have the 5U on deck after that 2M from Neanderthal there to convert that into kill. Even still, he could have just done 2M, back EX special, and you could have cycled through all of the specials that he had to get the victory. Oh my god, that's scary. So early death down, early on into the round off the, you know, start interaction. Now Neanderthal can just walk you down. You know you have to spend some of these stocks just to try and fight for space. Nice patience here from Neanderthal after the whiff throw. Not able to convert, but that's okay. We still got the stock. Oh, what a shimmy! The 2H whiffs entirely. You will get SBA off of this. 
Not quite going to be enough. Even with all the EX spend down the drain, even with the Raging Strike, leaves Elsa with... Wait, wait, wait. I might actually be wrong. This Jade might Sif. actually Jade be Sif. the kill off the SBA. Jade Sif. It's the no, final touch. You were so right. You got to you gotta keep with it. Keep with it. No, you're right. I should have believed, but Elsa holding on. One more touch. Chip damage is a factor, too. We have Fireball. We have Pillar to have to worry about. 100 meters down the drain, but it's not enough. Run up parry was not in the future. Elsa out at a respectable third place. Quite the stories that we have to look forward to here. Grimnir, of course, maybe super flashy, but has been quite frankly a threat throughout this bracket in the hands of Zane in the hands of Loki as well. Jeez, oh, what a force! Most of us all. Okay, good check from Neanderthal early on on the triple dash. Yes. I mean, that's going to be one tool to really look out for on the side of Versusia. It will snipe for that upper Gale dash opportunity, so if you are just awake at the wheel, you can certainly call out Zane's approach. Ah. But also be all the more vulnerable to Zane's setups here. There we go. Send it with the off screen 50 50. Ended up being the air dash and still afterwards able to find the spot dodge on the raging strike. Zane seals out a clean round one. You know, at least it being off screen really like reminds you that it's a 50 50. There's no way that you're getting out of there without guessing right the first time. So you just got to flip your coin and hope for the best. I beg you. I Hold on. Everyone, stop. I beg your pardon. Did you just make an excuse for Grimnir setting up 50 50? Well, that's screen? not what I'm are saying. You, are you an apologist on. right now? Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. on. I've never played Grim in my life. Guys, you can check my play history. But the history in this corner has been so good for Zane. Every time we're able to get this round start interaction to bring you up Ooh. here, set up the seals. Eventually, we're able to like find our hit. Record scratch louder in my life, Jade Sim. <laughs> I hit the 180 real quick, man. I put the transmission in reverse. Reversing on the side swap here. U Tornado gives us a little bit of room to try and scramble out of the corner, but sniped straight out of the sky here is Neanderthal. Yes, off the wall we go. Gonna get that 5U setup. Nice tornado, though. See, and we already have it here. Zane, up at the brakes Zane. before we go for Gale Dash because the anti air is certainly. A potential option from Neanderthal putting a round on the board. Mm -hmm. Run up, back dash, shimmy on the brave counter. Let's see it holding his own for sure, but there we go. Sniped out with the tornado. That's three, four seals. Yeah, and because of Versusia's faster recovery on those abilities, just the regular abilities, like you could just go for free on the light forward special, keeps sending it to try to snipe out on the approach from Grimnir. You've already got a life lead, and that makes it all the better. Being pushed back. Oh, what a pillar! Able to convert this too! Oh my god, the snipe from the 50 meter across town. Yeah, you got your seals to try and escape. Tries to go for the JL. Normally a good air to air reaction, but Zane doubling down on the anti air to air. Oh no, not the shimmy, and you're able to get the throw bait out. Zane will launch. Zane will spend super. It's a wrap here. First game for Zane. Going sky high. It's a SpaceX SBA to seal it. One game up, but at least Neanderthal is keeping up, right? A lot of these good checks, you know, whether it's setting up the seals or going immediately for the air dash, just so we're not getting, you know, these free ins and being tricky with the uh, ways that we're stalling. Mm -hmm. Sits right on top of the tornado and negates that possible. Hello? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? That's what I happened. literally just hit the gun off the tornado. Don't cross me up again, Zane. I swear to God, no. my eyes can't handle it. There we go. You just asked. You just asked for it, and he said, oh, "One more time, though." I followed it. I followed it that time, though. That Ooh, time, okay. I could draw the line. There we go. The mental MS Paint working, uh, working wonders right now. We got the seals in the corner. Save jump, JL, and once again the run up throw bait. Zane just keeps the pressure up so fast. You're terrified of the throw, but just goes straight into the skies. One more round on the board. So we got the EX Fireball here, full screen. Nice block, and the pillar will keep you locked in because we have the install applied to it. Ooh, air special. Nice preemptive option here from Zane. Yo, all right. The turbulent wind. I, you're so tall, you could have gotten caught by it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gets the 5 view buff with the immediate challenge with the U Tornado. Yeah, making sure you're not getting away with that for free in the mid screen. Wow. Still finds a back throw. Yeah, I mean, it was that spot dodge right there, too. But what's very interesting about it is that the Gale Dash still pushed you closer to the corner, so the back throw is a great call from Neanderthal. Nice. Back 
EX, launch. Yep. No meter here for kill, but we'll get that set up and into an install. Boom! Ended up on the other side, but the back throw not only stabilizes the corner, but it stabilizes the round two, one apiece. Great show so far from Neanderthal. It's been neck and neck in each game thus far. Let's see, we're sitting right on top of the scale here. You know what's coming. Nice dash. Ooh. Two of them at that. Damn, I thought I knew it was coming. I was looking for the anti here, but instead, this is what we see, you know, in game three, game four coming out from Zane. The immediate ground dash because you're looking for these baits and trying to adjust your timing accordingly, but refund off of the U seal. 50-50, walk it back. Oh, jeez, nice spot dodge. They all oh, tries to go for the JH a little bit too early on the jump in. Tries to go for the air to air, but instead Zane lands right on the ground in time and puts a second game on the board. Strong lead. It is that same tendency of the back and forth that we are seeing here from Zane. Honestly, being able to cross this threshold here with the 2 0 lead, taking a moment. And again, like I said, it still has other characters. Yeah, we have the six available as well, but. You know, even on a character that's pretty simple, the game plan is very straightforward. I don't know, man. These tiny, uh, you know, these tiny forgettals in the muscle memory might be crucial in situations where you need to be able to seal out the pressure. But I don't know. Thinking about it, we're setting up the skin. We might just have to go back to old reliable. Yeah. And honestly, when these two last played, again, like it was certainly more in the favor of Zayn, right? And still going that very much the same way once again as we try to go to our last resort of six here and i think we go back to six because parry certainly will help out you do have empty hand to get out of dodge especially when you know grimnir decides to get a little crazy on the air dash mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah let's how crazy we, get. we have the too. seals we got chats even called out too that less lower health on the side of six so the fewer opportunities to get opened up by a Grimnir before he can make a solid call out. Yeah, exactly. More of these 50 50 Even more of these 50 50s are going to end up being lethal. Jumped right into the air tornado. Brought right back down for a full confirm for it after. Yep. That does open things up here. Zane is on tournament point. One game drop. Are you kidding me? One game drop? Mm hmm. Might make it all the way through with a single scratch, but let's see if Neanderthal is able to let those claws go unsheathed. We find the Rekka. I mean, yeah, with the cat claws, you're certainly able to lay on some scratches here, that's for sure. Good air to air, coast to coast we go. Find the Twister, baits out. Yeah, just waiting for that U empty hand. No throw baited here. The delay brave counter to escape. H. Ooh, what a spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Able to avoid the Psycho Crusher. We bring you to the corner off the Rekka. Walk it out. No, but walk back frame trap. Not going <gasps> to shimmy anything here. Tries to spend the U skill, but ends up getting caught for your troubles, Neanderthal. So much meter to find his oh, last hit. No! No! No, no, no Neanderthal! <laughs> no! Oh. What a way to go, oh. but Neanderthal had the lethal 2 elb, didn't believe in the hit, the stagger was not enough, and Zane is your champion of Astral Finish 2024.